And who knew I'd find inspiration here? Amongst more city streets and concrete hip-hop beats create the soundtrack to my days. And how do I spend my days? All my days. All my days I can't blaze away, graze my brain away. Days in hazy holes are okay, no way. I can't have cannabis curtains clouding my eyes. It's medicine, all right, but that doesn't mean I have to self-prescribe myself day and night. But man, it like totally opens your mind. Yes. And it also makes me close my eyes. And I want to watch the flowers grow. I want to see cracks in concrete paths overflow with great green incredible and edible wild foods which before I believed to be weeds now act as the on the go snack I need I fill my salad bowl up with petals and leaves and march forth unto and through these city streets and when I hear the kids of today say nah man what's the point in this society a kid like me can't win I think so what Should I just give in, roll up and spliff in for the night with Nintendos and the lights off, TVs and DVDs making up for my lack of dreams? No way. I've been there. I know you're back in a city where I can so easily rhyme it with gritty and shitty, but I'm done with creating that reality for me. I'm done with believing that the only thing surrounding me is some real life drama between my friends and my family. He said that she said that he'd get a knife on me, but I know his mum and she's the ice street flag. She don't even know the name of his dad. Cause that year, the most inspiring people that I met They weren't the ones living in the mountains, riding wild horses, barebacked and mounted. They weren't the gypsies or the hippies or the anarchists from middle class families. They weren't living in squats or woods or wearing fake pixie clothes with pointed hoods. They were six years old. Six years old and born third generation unemployed. Six years old and told that their only future job prospect is working down a coal mine. In this day and age, kids to whom alcoholism is a daily theme and organic food is some unaffordable dream, the offspring of society's class of whatever. But when I see that six year old bend down to the ground and pull a leaf from the green and pass it to me, try this, she says as she puts some between her teeth, I heed. Hmm, sorrel. I reply. Yeah, it's my favorite, she says with a smile. And the eight-year-old boy wearing his football shirt to school, the advertising campaign of the beer company on his chest making him cool. And he tells me about how I got to school half an hour early so I could pull the potatoes I'd grown out the ground. Standing there, smile wide with his mucky bucket of starchy pride and I can't help but feel inspired. And the nine-year-old goes, nine years old and fighting the council for their right to have a wind turbine in their school. And I'm blown away. I put any hint of atheism aside and I pray that these kids never see how deep a K-hole can be. They never give up a single night's dream because they're addicted to weed and they never stop seeing the green through the concrete and give in. And they never ever utter the words. And what's the point? In this society, a kid like me can't win. <laughs>